The following program is video supplemental instruction. VSI is brought to you by the Teaching Center, UF's Learning Support Center, www.teachingcenter.ufl.edu. Remember we were asked to find the axis of symmetry for a quadratic function? So remember that the axis of symmetry is just the x value at which you have the vertex of your quadratic function. So what we're going to use here is the vertex formula that our x value for our vertex is negative b over 2a. So in this function, our b is 5, so we get negative 5. 2 times our a, our a is negative 1 fourth. So we just need to evaluate this and that will give us our axis of symmetry. This is negative 5 on the bottom, 2 times negative 1 fourth would give us negative 1 half. Dividing by 1 half is the same thing as multiplying by 2, and these negatives cancel out. So here we get 10. So our axis of symmetry would be x equals 10, because if you think about it on your parabola, that's the x value where the vertex occurs, that's also your axis of symmetry since your parabola is symmetric on either side of that. So we have x equals 10 for this one. The Teaching Center, UF's Learning Support Center, www.teachingcenter.ufl.edu.